Hello, this is Channel 11 reporting with your bootleg news on the ground with some 25 cent hand sanitizer that was on discount used as my microphone. Today we are going to show you why lumber is so high and my life is not very heavy about it since I'm remodeling like 10 units right now. Yeah. So, it seems like we're having a little bit of a lumber situation. It's caused lumber prices to go up exponentially. What once cost $10 now cost $100. Yay! Now, if you look to my side, you can probably see giant piles of timber. So, what's even more insulting is the fact that I live by timber that is being harvested. Yes, timber companies are coming here and harvesting the lumber that is near me. Now, it's very, very insulting because I'm paying these high lumber prices, but yet every day I drive past huge piles of trees and timber on the ground that's just waiting to be picked up. Apparently, there's transportation issues, they say, but I don't believe them. <laughs> But no, really, um, I really, yeah, lumber prices are crazy. We are remodeling. This really is true life. Like, we're remodeling and we're really feeling the lumber prices. The, yeah, we just did a uh, wood deck. I hurt my pocketbook a little bit. Um, <laughs> everything. I mean, we're doing wood and metal bars that we're building. We're doing a lot of different little crafty projects that, of course, require wood. And um, they're a lot more expensive now. But the funny thing is, is that every day I drive past these fields and they've harvested this timber and it's just sitting in piles. Apparently, uh, the mill that, word on the street is that the mill that these are supposed to be going to is having a transportation issue. Um, now, I don't know if that's the issue nationally, but um, when I reached out to him because I'm doing some very, very serious investigative reporting, or I'm just insulted when I drive past these trees just sitting in huge piles. I mean, I even have land that has <laughs> timber on them. And I'm like, we're going to harvest this. Like, we're going to get some crazy money for it. And it's like, no, 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 you're not. It, it's not that we're having a shortage of trees and timber. It's that apparently there's a transport transportation issue. Uh, yeah, okay. But due to COVID, what, okay. Supply chain whatever I, I don't quite understand it but this is what they tell me so here I thought I was gonna get high dollar I was like okay I'm paying crazy prices at the register for the wood that we need for our projects but we'll make up for it with the timber that we have on our land so I just get insulted every day when I drive past these piles these piles of trees look at all these you see that that's trees that have yet to be taken down they'll probably be taken down soon but this is a whole stretch of land that um, the timber company owns most of this land up and down this highway and I mean you just see just massive expanses of land that just get harvested for trees all the time I mean if you see trees up now they'll probably be down um, next year or the year after when they harvest them for the, the, the wood and timber so yeah I get to drive past it every day and I'm like why are these people talking about this is crazy Lumber prices are crazy. I know it, I feel it, I see it. But now I'm driving past all this lumber and it's aggravating. You know, it's just insulting. And then I sit and think, why do we even have news channels? You know, why do we have news, quote unquote, quote, news, whatever you want to call it, news, schmooze, woos, fake news, whatever it is. It seems goofy this day and age, doesn't it? Because everybody's got a phone, everybody's got a camera, everybody's got a video recorder, everybody's taking videos, everybody's got a YouTube channel, everybody's got a Facebook, everybody's got ID, everybody's got everything, and everybody's posting footage and pictures and all this. Why do we even have news anymore? You know, like, why? Does that make sense to anybody? I mean, they, news used to be a thing that you needed back when nobody had, like, not everybody had cameras and videos with the ability to take video footage, you know? It's like, we don't really need the news anymore. You know, that whole camera thing that you guys got everybody's got we don't need that anymore it's all chopped and screwed anyways and slanted and angled and presented in a way to make you think and feel a way like if you don't think that there's marketers behind that programming 
be around. And if you don't think there's sociologists and psychologists and all these studies that go into how they're presenting, you're wrong again. But uh, yeah, I was thinking about that. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do my own reporting. And here we are with our current situation. And I'm in the great state of Florida, which is a free, wonderful place. And, uh, but yeah, there's still piles. Here we go, here we go. Look at my investigative report. We'll continue here with live footage of the harvesting of the trees and timber here in this uh, piece of land. Now that one doesn't really, that one looks like it's been harvested and the piles have been removed so that may have been before we were experiencing these transportation issues or whatever that they're claiming but isn't it interesting you know but you know what when everything started to happen with the, the brovids i i was like okay economics 101 we know it's going to happen here you don't go to work or people aren't working as much or limited hours or any type of limitations that's going to affect the free market that's going to affect the supply chain that's going to affect prices that's going to affect uh everything's law of supply and demand here my friends so yeah i get it but still i have to drive past these piles of wood every day and i'm like i literally ask my boyfriend i'm like how do we make wood we have trees how do we make wood can we youtube this and figure out how to make our own wood i mean we diy make everything else ourselves we're pretty much self-sufficient i mean meat provide it veggies provide it house we can build it all this stuff but I'm like you know what we need to get to a point where we can make our own wood that's the next step I'm like maybe that's what God's trying to tell me with these huge piles of wood that are just sitting on the side of the highway on my way home and I'm like it just frustrates me so next step next video you'll see DIY wood my friends how to actually manufacture your own wood from raw timber that's what I'm going for. That's why I'm thinking. Let me know if you guys want to see that video next, okay? Love you, bye.